Hey guys, Jennifer Foley here, your local realtor, and uh, it is Monday, January the 4th. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what's been happening in our local real estate market, specifically in Clarington and in Oshawa. So, between December 28th, 2020, and today, January 4th, 2021. Oh, can't believe it, 2021. Hope you all had a great holiday and uh, a great New Year's, despite uh, our province being on, on shutdown right now. But anyhow, so, uh, Clarington, we saw nine sales, and the average sale price was 798,000, and the original list price was in around 776,000. So price difference, 103%. So we're still seeing properties going over uh, asking in some cases, and that would be for a three bedroom, three bath home. And uh, majority of sales still, uh, Bowmanville is taking the lead for Clarington with four of the sales. Curtis had two. Newcastle too and uh, the rural country area uh, we had one sale. Um, six of those sales were detached homes and again a two-story over a bungalow. Um, there were six detached two stories and only one uh, bungalow. So it must have had to have been a townhouse. There was only one townhouse sale. So that tells you a little bit about what's selling in Clarington and where. And for Oshawa, we saw 18 sales in the last week. And uh, so the sold price on that, the average was 727,000 and the original price was 655,000. So price difference of 113%. And that would be for a three bedroom, three bath home. And again, um, what's selling is a detached two story. Um, we did see two townhouses, two condo apartments, one condo townhouse, and two semi-detached uh, in those sales as well. And uh, more, actually the bungalows uh, for the styles uh, were equivalent to the two stories. So five two stories and five, five bungalows sold. Um, and uh, yeah, so it looks like the average days on market for Oshawa uh, in the last week, 15 days. So some of them stayed on a little bit longer. Clarington was only eight. Now, if you watched my last video, you would have saw that uh, the top three hottest neighborhoods were Oshawa, um, Whitby and Clarington. So it'll be interesting to see in this first quarter if uh, those three neighborhoods continue to take the lead or if people uh, start looking in some of the other areas in Durham region. If you have any questions uh, about the real estate market or what's happening in your neighborhood, reach out to me. Love to hear from you and uh, be safe, be kind, and uh, we'll see you soon.